I sit here thinking, contemplating, looking back in my mind, everything that's happened, everything that's transpired, has led to this moment, Steve. So I'm not going to yell at you. I'm not going to do the typical wrestling jargon. No, I've already done that. I'm going to talk to you, Steve. I'm going to talk to you man to man. Your last match, February 15th, Portadale, Georgia. It's against me. You've talked about how you're preparing for months for this particular match. How you wake up four o'clock, three o'clock in the morning, just to prepare yourself physically for this match. And I commend you for it. I commend the dedication that you have to get yourself ready for this match. Because unlike other promoters, unlike other bookers, you're trying to step out from that norm. You don't want to be a part of that stigma. And that is admirable. Believe it or not, that despite everything we've gone through, Inside, there's still that small bit, that small speck of respect that I still have for you. You say months you were preparing for yourself for this match. I've been mentally preparing myself for this match for years. Going all the way back to November 11th, 2011, when I cracked you over the head with that very Empire Championship. I knew this minute, the minute that thought came to mind, the second thought came in, Shane, you're gonna eventually reap what you sow. One day it's gonna be you versus Steven Platinum. One day that's gonna happen. You know, I go back and I think about another particular date. I think about March 25th, 2010. That night, when I became the first PCW champion. The wrestlers came to the back. They congratulated me, they saying, great job, Shane. You did a great job. Congratulations, champ. The last person to walk out from that locker room, the last person to come in that ring was you. You didn't say congratulations. You didn't say good job. You came up to me. You gave me a hug. You embraced me. And you said to me, you deserved it. And I'll admit, I did get a little choked up. Because at first, I didn't think that I was going to be worthy enough to even be the champion, let alone win the title. But the moment you said that I deserved it, the moment you said to me that I deserved to be the PCW champion, all that doubt went out the window. All that doubt didn't matter anymore because now I had to prove that I deserved it. And from there on, that's all I've done. I proved that I deserved to be the champion. I proved that I deserved to be in the ring with anybody in the world. Whether it was Adam Pierce, Davey Richards, Kyle O'Reilly, Jay Lethal, you stacked them up, I knocked them down. Because I deserved it. February 15th, Steve, you have your very last match. And you're having it against me. I accepted that challenge for a reason, Steve. Because you're the last. You're the last of the demons that I need to exercise. Secret Ground 4, I exercised the demon that was Mason. At the first Actors Express show, I exercised the demon that was supernatural. And on February 15th, 
Stephen Platinum, you're the last demon I get to exercise so I can purge my soul. So I can be free. February 15th. It's going to be the biggest match of my career. Not only does it mark 10 years in this business for me. But I get to go against one-on-one. -on -one. The man that taught me just about everything I know. The man that mentored me. The man that told me that I deserve to be champion. And Steve, I hope your family's there. Your lovely wife, your beautiful children. I hope they're there and I hope you're talking to them leading up to February 15th. I hope you're sitting your little girls down and telling them daddy's gonna go to Atlanta and daddy's gonna face, I quote you, the greatest wrestler I have ever trained. And we're not gonna have a match. We're gonna have a fight. You want to know disqualification? I gladly accept that. You want to pull out all the tricks? I gladly accept that. I welcome everything that you're going to put in front of me. Because on February 15th, Steve, I'm prepared to be as violent as you are. I'm prepared to fight you just as hard as you're going to fight me on February 15th, your very last match against the best wrestler in this world. And I'm going to hurt you. Not because I want to. Not because I have to. Steve, I'm going to hurt you.